Hi, Bob Freeman here with Remax in Naples, Florida. Beautiful sunny day out here. We're going to show you a Sea Ray that is absolutely tremendous. They did a fantastic job. It's the 37 Sundancer. It has every option on this boat. They did a fantastic job on, on, on the design on this. Um, starting at the back of the boat, we've got the triple Mercury V8s. Incredible engines. Uh, you get 900 horsepower on here, plenty of horsepower for the boat. We actually have it in Skyhook now. I've had nobody at the helm. Uh, so it's actually just keeping us all by itself. And I've got a windy day going on right now. And it's just keeping us locked in here. We're going to do the entire video without me being at the helm at all, even on a windy day like this. So some of the features I'll go through with you. It's got nice storage in the back. So this is set, this is mainly set up for your fenders and lines and that conveniently located right here, not inside the boat. Then as I come inside, you've got the seating, which is it's L-shaped seating here, which is great. Uh, but the seat, they really did a fantastic job. So when you're going for a ride and you're set up like this way, but when you're anchored out or at the beach or uh, whatever it may be, you can take this, bring it down. Makes a nice sun pad you can lay out here comfortably. Then I can take this. And now... It's a very cool lounger. It just, it just see, they're just sitting on the back. You're looking at the water completely. You're over the top of the motors like this, not inside the boat. So what a cool, cool design on this particular feature. Easily goes back down. Easily comes back up. Uh, so it's moving side. We've got the sure shade. We have it out right now. So look how far back the sure shade goes. It goes all the way out. So we're completely in the shade. If you don't want you don't want the sun, you can be completely out of it. If you want the sun, bring it on back. It's a push of a button. Easy. So storage underneath. Good size storage. You got table legs here, and I got another storage on this side. Bigger storage on that. More table legs. The tables are conveniently located. Uh, in the bilge and it's a lot of storage on there. The sea keeper is that's where the sea keeper is It's probably the coolest thing on this boat uh, If we were out in the Gulf and we were rocking like this you hit the button on the sea keeper and It takes you from this and it gets rid of 90% of that. No more seasickness fantastic um, moving over to the galley area Electric Kenyan grill you can cook anything fillets you name it we can even cook your fish Anything you want on here, you got a sink, drink holders, you got a fridge with a freezer in it, so you can keep a bag of ice for your martinis, storage, trash conveniently located as well. And then as I move up, you've got the seat on the uh, on the port side. It's a dual seat, very comfortable. It's a like a really nice home seat on most boats. So very two here, and then you can put two on on the uh, on the helm. So moving into the helm, all kinds of stuff that goes on here. I can control just about everything on the boat right here. I can just keep scrolling through and hit different lights on this, that. I can control everything from right here. Uh, the chart plot is there. I, you can split these down the middle. The radar, which the boat does have, uh, can you can have a deck and have a, 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 a fish finder for depth and everything else. On you know, you could really set it up any way that you want to do it. It's fusion stereo, and then you've got auto trim tabs, VHF radio. And this uh, joystick, if you're not familiar with it, it's just fantastic. I can go sideways on this boat. I can put it in any slip, any time. It's, it's that easy. The other, another feature it has, it's got an auto heading, which is an autopilot. It's a point and shoot. I point the boat where I want to go, hit the button. Now I can sit and relax and talk to the people on the boat, still keeping an eye on where we're going, but it's much more relaxing for me as the captain. Uh, thirdly, it's got Skyhook. That's what we're in right now. So I've got the boat... Uh, Facing the sun right now, so at the end of the day, you can just go out there. You can shut the shut the window right here. It's very quiet up front. You're always facing the sun the entire time. If you have an anchor, you're swinging back and forth. It's not a good position. You got to bring the anchor up when you're all done. That's a pain in the neck. So the sky hook is just a really cool feature on this. Here we are in the cabin. Let's start with the galley setup right here. You got another sink here. You've got a microwave. You've got another refrigerator that has the, uh, the a nice maker in it as well, so another bag of ice as well, or anything frozen you may want to bring on the boat with you, which is great. And as we move around, nice, comfortable sitting area here. We have a flat screen TV here, so if you just want to hang out and watch TV, uh, you can do that. Sometimes the kids can come down and play games, that type of thing. 
And then when you're getting ready for bed, normally it was always a project to, to convert everything over to the bed. Not, not difficult here at all. You just hit this. Pull this down. And now you got a very large, comfortable bed, which is just great. I mean, just as far as sleeping, you can put two, two tall adults, very comfortable here. So TV, closet, move over to the head area. So you've got vacuum flush, you've got a vessel uh, sink, and then you've got a separate shower. This is not a wet head. This is a dry head, which is a big deal. A lot of times they're wet heads, everything gets soaking wet. Uh, you've got a skylight, you've got a window where you can pour a porthole that you can uh, open up for fresh air. And lastly, the mid cabin is, is very large. So this can hold two, again, two tall adults very comfortably. Three or four kids could sleep back there if you wanted to. They, again, another place, you have a TV, they can hang back there. They kind of like the little cave area to, back there, kind of like a little private. And um, just a great cabin all the way around the board. So Sea Ring... Years ago, this was just a flat surface up here for the bow. A couple of sun pads, not all that comfortable. Um, people couldn't ride up here when we were up on plane, so because it wasn't safe. Now you are inside, so they just added all of the seating, extra seating that we never had before. So you've got another six adults up here very comfortably that you never, if you had eight back there comfortably, you got another six up here. You have 14 adults here very comfortably. So just a great, great job on this. You can put four adults right straight across comfortably. Armrests on it, phone chargers on both sides, drink holders, stereo. Uh, we have a table that goes in here. It does two things. You, the low one goes down. You have a, a filler in here. For, it makes a big sun pad in here. You get the higher leg. We have a table in this shape here. So when you're all sitting around, you just pick, pick this up. And now you've got the table right here. You've got five adults sitting around here comfortably, drinks, hors d'oeuvres, that type of thing, looking at the sunset. It just really doesn't get any better than this. So finally, you've got the windshield. It's, it's just the visibility on this boat is just spectacular. Uh, nothing in your way there at all. It, uh, it does everything well. You've got a sunroof on it. You've got a skylight on there. You've got the radar up on top. Um, it just does everything exceptionally well. So if you have any questions, you'd like to come see it, please give me a call. My name is Bob Freeman at 603-213-1194.